Hello everyone, welcome to my video series on Git. In our last video, we had an overview of a version control system. In this video, we'll be di diving deep into different types of version control system. So let's get started. The very first kind of version control system that we all are familiar with is the local version control system. I have a set of files, say a set of documents, and I'm making some changes into those documents. I create a folder, put my original documents into them, name them folder one. I create another folder, put there my changes. And my third folder, the additional changes. In this way, what happens is at the end, we forget where the folder lies. We forget what folder contains what changes. So as we all know, this is not a very feasible way of doing version controlling. Just a tip, if you are doing this way, make sure that you put timestamps on. The second kind of version control system which came in early days was centralized version control system. Version control systems such as Subversion and CVS are based on this model. In this model, there is a centralized server. This server holds all the code and the revisions and the history. So there is one central server which holds all the history and the current code. All the users would then hit the server and get the files that they need to the central server. Now, as you can see, the flaw in this, uh, in this very uh, design is that if the central server goes down, the users will not be able to pull any new changes from the server or give any uh, changes to the server though in this case it can be mitigated by taking regular backups also this was an initial concept and the very need for this was that there were various people working with each other and they all needed a central place to put their files and share their files also in those times what things used to be like everybody would know what the other person is working on and what files they would be changing if not in detail at least to some extent and the administrators can have a fine grain control on who is accessing what and changing what. So this was quite an effective system. But in, in the recent times, it's not really that recent. Say suppose five, seven years ago, we got introduced with distributed version control system. In distributed version control system, we do have a centralized server, which is not really mandatory. This server can be hosted on cloud, and that is also the case with the centralized version control system where the central server is hosted in a cloud. The main difference between both of them is that the distributed version control system will have individual nodes where users would clone the entire uh, database of changes from the central server. And then whenever users are doing any changes, they are doing locally and they are interacting with the local uh, clone that they have taken from the central server. They are changing the files locally and only when they are satisfied with the change, they are moving those files to the central server so that somebody else can also take those changes. This is more distributed, meaning all the all the nodes which, had, which has cloned the central server actually holds the whole history of changes done. Say suppose the central server goes down, any of the node which has taken a latest clone can then be made the central server. Users can interact with each other, with the server, users can change files with each other, and this proved to be very effective. There are various uh, distributed version control systems available, such as Git, Mercurial and Bazaar. So these were the three different types of version control system that are available in the market. In the next video, we'll see what is Git, how is Git used, what are the benefits of Git. So stay tuned. This is Kishan signing off. Thank you.